This week on TGC News, 30 Super Carry is growing a bunch of new guns and three additional new guns from Europe that you will not want to miss. Make Ready Arms is your solution for gun-friendly e-commerce. Do you want to customize your site? Yeah, you can do that. You want your own server for ultra reliability? Yeah, you can do that. How about stuff that's made specifically for gun stuff for e-commerce? Yeah, you can do that too. They offer full drop shipping automation from some of the biggest distributors around. So you can basically sell anything. To build your own online gun shop, use our code TGC10 to get 10% off your first month over at MakeReadyArmsWithAZ.com. Welcome back to another episode of the Gun Collective News, the only gun news show that covers things that you actually care about. My name is John Patton. Hi, welcome. Here I am again this week, every week. GunCon is flying up on us, and since tickets are officially sold out, I'll just remind you guys that there is a live stream in the evening happening from 4 to 6 p.m., and you'll be able to tune in right here on YouTube, ask questions, and win stuff. We have prizes exclusively for the online viewing audience, so tune in right here on TGC, June 25th, 4 to 6 p.m., to be a part of that. Now, how about we get into some news? First up this week is one from a company I had never heard of called Bubix Arms, Bubix, Bubix, out of Austria. I honestly have no idea whether or not we'll ever see this on the US market, but we're gonna look at it anyway. <laughs> I just think it's cool. Word on the street is that the owner is a former employee of brands like Glock, Steyr, and Caracal, and it looks like he's kind of borrowing some ideas from all of those brands. The gun is called the Booby X Bro. Not Pro, but Bro, and it looks interesting. On the surface, it's chambered in one of three 9mm calibers. There will be conversion kits to swap. 9x18, aka 9mm Makarov, 9x19, aka 9mm Luger, which is by far the most common here in the US, and 9x21 IMI, which originated in the Italian Micro Uzi in the 1980s because civilians weren't allowed to have military cartridges. Anyway, the Booby X Bro has a three and a half inch barrel, 12 round mags, and then some more unique features like the grip safety on the front of the grip under the trigger guard. It also has a takedown button up inside the trigger guard, a very rounded top of the slide with some serrations front and rear, as well as a magwell shape that I cannot seem to explain. It looks like the pistol is like dipping its toe into cold water and is scared like, ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Ooh, I said it. There are a few other things, but those are the standouts. To be honest, it reminds me a lot of the old Caracal C pistols. It comes in one of seven different colors and it comes with an ambi holster. Yes, they call that an ambi holster. So, I'll be honest, I'm skeptical that it will be good, but it does have some potential. Dimensionally, it's a competitor to guns like the Shield Plus, 365, and Hellcat, but there's no telling whether or not it will be as reliable as those. And because it's not sold here yet, I have no clue on how much it might cost. Should we make it up? Should we, should we do that? Yeah, let's make it up. The Booby X Bro costs the same as an old school Makarov pistol. No one tell Brandon Herrera they are now using those as currency. <laughs> Moving on from there, Smith & Wesson has a new version of the Shield Plus chambered in 30 Super Carry. Now, that might sound boring, except for the fact that because 30 Super Carry is smaller than 9mm, you can stack 16 rounds in the extended magazine. 16! That's bonkers in this size of a gun. We actually have our review of the 30 Super Carry Shield EZ coming in about a month's time. And I'm telling you guys right now, it's way better than I thought it would be. It's really enjoyable. Otherwise, it's a Shield Plus, which is a fantastic gun to begin with. Also in 30 Super Carry news, Hornady just released their new version of critical defense ammo. This time, it's slinging a 100 grain FTX or flex tip expanding bullet at about 1,250 feet per second. That's really solid performance if you ask me. Pricing for those isn't available yet, but it's likely to be similar to the other critical defense offerings. 
Rolling forward from there, CZ has a couple new versions of guns they've already had out for a bit. The 457 American and the 457 Varmint both now come in left-handed versions. Ben can rejoice. The American goes for 589 MSRP and the Varmint for 625 MSRP. Colt also has a new revolver out. It's called the King Cobra Target and it's chambered in 22 long rifle. You'll be able to get it in either a four or six inch barrel version and it'll hold 10 rounds in the cylinder. The pricing for that gun isn't available since the gun hasn't even hit Colt's website yet. Why would you release a gun and not put it on your website? Like, are you serious? So let's just make it up. We'll do it all together. This will be really fun. We're making, we're doing this as we leave a comment below with the MSRP of the new Colt 22 wheel gun. I cannot wait. I can't wait to see the crap you guys come up with. Also, another small update, this time from Mossberg. They are sort of relaunching the MC2C 9mm pistol, which is sort of a mid-size compact gun. It's got a four inch barrel, flat face trigger, 14 and 16 round mags, and now comes Optic Ready. Pricing is 556 bucks for the base Optic Ready model and 662 for the Optic Ready with night sights. The train keeps moving. It's we just so much to cover. There are some big news out of Europe. FN Herstal, not to be confused with FN America, has announced two new guns. First, the Hyper, which is meant to be a modernized version of the High Power. Yes, I know the rehash of the old one just came out here in the US not too long ago, but this is the European side of the brand. So the Hyper has a four inch barrel, 15 round polymer magazines, they were bragging about that, interchangeable back straps, front and rear slide serrations, plus a winged rear plate on the back of the slide for easier manipulation. It screams shield easy. A set of suppressor height sights, then also an optic cut and a new style of mag button that's on the side, but works a little bit like a lever action release. However, the ambi releases work independently. So it's sort of like a lever that would normally be on the trigger guard, but it's on the frame. It's super interesting concept. The trigger is also adjustable from the factory. There's a ton going on here. And I'll be honest, this is another one that may or may not end up being sold here in the US. This was a European release, but it looks so freaking cool, I had to add it to this show. And guess what, FN Herstal also announced a new version of the famed FN57. Yep. People have been asking for this for a long, long time. This is another non-US release, so suck it up and deal. The new 57 Mark III MRD is not quite as innovative as the Hyper, but still very cool. The main differences are the grip shape, which looks really nice, the new slide with bigger serrations and a you know, slightly different cut and an optic cut. Otherwise it still has a 4.8 inch barrel and 20 round mags, you know, for 5.7, right? It's great. It looks great on the surface, but I kind of wish they completely revamped it like the Hyper. But I guess maybe they could bump the capacity to like 25, 30 rounds. I don't know, whatever, figure it out FN. It's not my job, it's yours. <laughs> It's been a long time since the Mark II was released, so it's a bit disappointing to only see sort of cosmetic refreshes here, but whatever, we'll take it, right? If you need gun accessories, check out Fab Defense. They have all kinds of parts for the AR platforms like pistol grips, butt stocks, foregrips, and more. I'm really enjoying this sort of mid-range setup on my digital camo AR with the wrap stock gratis grip and spike bipod. There's also flip up sights and parts for your AK or even your pistol. From long range setups to compact AR pistols and everything in between. Fab Defense has something for everyone. To learn more, check out fab-defense.com. And it's now time for Weekly Gunspiration. This is a segment where we pick the top three pictures sent in by you guys on social media that would inspire folks to get out and shoot or just be a part of the shooting community. Remember, anyone that submits a picture during the first two weeks of June will be eligible to win two VIP tickets that will get you into GunCon Media Only Range Day and the show day. You don't have to be a winner to be eligible for that. So be aware of that. Submit pictures, guys. Remember, they have to be new. In third this week, Instagrammer 402 Pew Pew Outlaw with his all metal Glock in slow-mo, ringing the steel like a bell, warning of the British coming. I don't know, it's cool. Next up, Joshua French posted some images and video of his older son teaching the younger one at the range. This is what I like to call generational wealth. <laughs> 
That's cool, man. And rounding us out, Jason Bauer posted a video of the Quad 50. This shoots 50 BMG out of four barrels. Yep. And I think you'll just have to go to the Gundamentalist Facebook group to go watch that, because you need to. Winners, please send us an email to theguncollective at gmail.com with your info so we can get you a prize pack to submit your own inspirational pictures and, for the time being, be entered to possibly win some GunCon tickets. I need you to post them on Instagram or in the Gundamentalist Facebook group with the hashtag TGC Gunspiration, and maybe, just maybe, you could win something next week. That's it, guys. If you enjoyed this show and you want to see an ad-free version, check us out on floatplane.com. After you click the like button, please do that. That helps. Be sure to hit the affiliate links down in the description. Also a big help. That would be fantastic. I would love you forever. And, of course, don't forget to get subscribed for more gun news every single week. And, as always, thank you all for watching. See you soon. Yep, it's over. But don't worry. You can click on the video up top to watch last week's show. And the one below that is the one that YouTube thinks you'll enjoy. Check them out and let me know what you think. Ah!